Okay, I have no idea where that recording started. Uh, okay. Uh, hi guys, I'm Gvan, and welcome back to my let's play of... There we go. Of Metroid Prime for the... Well, the trilogy version for the Wii, so... Um, last time, there's not much of a recap. Uh, we looked at dead guys. That's pretty much it. No, 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 don't close. Don't close. <sighs> okay, let's try this again. We looked at dead guys. That's the password. <laughs> Come on, more ball mode, deactivate, thank you. All right, and we're gonna look at more dead guys this time. So, uh, analysis detects large amounts of blood, blah, 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 these bodies have been used for nourishment. They've been eaten. <laughs> Alright. Let's look. Ah, okay. He made me jump. I knew he was there, but just. Uh, I'm, I'm not good at being close to these. Like, I shouldn't even be doing this last play. I'm kind of just too cautious when it comes to. Alright, there's cutscene. Just. Here we have the first boss, the Parasite Queen. She spits what I like to think of as acid, which she's doing right now. Okay. Um, Parasite Queen, Parasite Female, genetically enhanced by unknown means. A weak spot has been detected in this creature's mouth. Use your auto-targeting to acquire this new target. Scans indicate the presence of a potent mutagen. Origins unknown. Creature exhibits the ability to fire weapon-grade blasts of energy from its mouth. A trait not present in the standard parasite genome. It appears the pirates have begun a bioengineering program with considerable results. Uh, alright, I'm... I have no clue about the controls for the, uh, original version, so I'm just gonna talk about the, uh, controls for the Wii version. Um, well, versions of... Uh, Z is to lock on if we, if I didn't already cover that. Um, while locking on, you can strafe or dodge or sidestep, whatever you want to call it. it has two names. Um, to do that, you hold left or right on the control stick and press B So while locked on. So, yeah. Um, there's not much to this boss, just avoid getting hit. I'm pretty sure those are the that's the only attack that it has. So, yeah, it's pretty simple. I mean, it's the first boss. <laughs> uh, I've never really failed that boss, so. Uh, in the Wii versions, you get those little tokens. I'm not really going to cover those, but they're for extras, basically. Here we have one of the main staples of the Metroid series. Uh, for I'm pretty sure every Metroid game has a sequence where you where something's gonna blow up and you have to uh, leave. It's not. I, I think it's at the beginning of some games, the end of others. I don't know. I've only really played these three. Um, the three trilogy. The three Prime games, hence why I have Metroid Prime Trilogy, uh, um, and Metroid Other M, which is a good game. I don't care what anyone says. I'll get into that if I ever um, do a Let's Play of Metroid Other M, but, you know, it, it is a good game. So here we have Space Pirates dying because they think that they... Because of Parasite Queen, uh, the one that was in the hibernation kind of, sort of, broke out. And there is a living space pirate somewhere. Cool. Uh, but we can't worry about him because we have others. 
Unless it was one of these guys that did kind of like the shot came from above. Alright, um. Come on. I've never failed this uh, time sequence, but since I'm recording, it probably will happen. Uh. So I have no clue what happens when you die. I, I, yeah, I mean, it's probably an instant death. I'm gonna just, you know, assume that. <laughs> Countdown. Why else wouldn't it be a sudden death? Um, these parasites. I scanned one earlier, but this is your last chance to uh, scan them. I'm pretty sure. I think they're the only. Actually, yeah, it is the only the last chance. Uh, I do feel like I missed something though, and that could be a problem because we never really come back here. Yeah, so, I mean, it's a countdown, so it's gonna either crash, or blow up, or something, I'm not really spoiling anything there. So, yeah. Alright. And, I think there are more parasites, are there? I can't see. Turn around, Sonic. Alright. You don't really have to worry about the parasites, I mean, all they do is... You can step on them. That's all. So, pretty simple to avoid. Okay, we got some turrets here. I have no. I was trying to press the missile button. I have no missiles. Okay, now I have missiles. Come on. Alright, well, I was gonna try and get those missiles. Hold on. Uh, alright. I can't remember, just, I haven't been noticing, does, um, stepping on the, uh, parasites give you damage? Like, are, is there blood made of acid? Because I know there are some enemies in this game, bugs again, that when you step on them, they give you acid. Okay, this is where we want to be careful, because this thing can crush you, I think. I've never really let it happen before. But, yeah. Oh my gosh, 3 minutes and 17 seconds. I've never gone below 3 minutes, so this is... Or at least I don't think I have. So this is probably going to be cutting it close. Maybe I'm just being worried. that. Come on. Uh, we won't be seeing these grapple beams for a long time. Uh, so, if you want to scan them right now, then go ahead. Uh, I'm kind of running out of time. <laughs> Alright, here. Meta Ridley, weapon update complete. Stinger Ballistics online. Plasma Fuel Cell online. Okay, uh, Meta Ridley, Cerebral ca Casing Stable, Exoskeleton Seal, Holding Begun, Umbilical Retract, you. Alright, um, where's the door? There it is. Okay, that is for the turret. Yes, it is. Uh, right there. I kind of want more missiles, but, oh well. Okay. Scan this. Variety suit malfunction. Morph ball malfunction. Missile malfunction. Charge beam malfunction. Grapple beam malfunction. Okay, that's it. Um, alright. So, that means that we can't use any of those anymore. Which is not good at all. And this lag is not helpful. I have no clue where I'm going. Oh, alright. Here. Come on. Nope. 
What am I stuck on? Here we go. Okay. Through here. Room is depressurizing. There we go. I don't know why it matters. Huh, got the door. Alright. I'm pretty sure you have an infinite blast range. But here's a cutscene, so I'll shut up. Tracking on enemy target has been lost. Ground-based recon required. Beginning landing sequence. Alright, um, yeah, yeah, I guess I'll save. Last time I showed how, oh, it doesn't do it here. Okay, well, um, if you go to the ship, that little glowing circle, you go in, you heal, which I have no damage, so it doesn't really matter, and it, um, refuels your ammo. So it's basically the best place ever. Welcome to Talon 4 or as I'll be calling it, Talon IV. There are doors, 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 doors everywhere in this first room, I guess you want to call it. And this has probably my favorite music. I mean, just listen to that. It's so beautiful. Um, Metroid Prime has a lot of... Uh, th there are a lot of times where you can sequence break. For those of that, you that don't know what sequence breaking is, it's basically you get stuff before you're supposed to, or get to places before you're supposed to. Here we have a new creature. Beetle, burrowing insect with a resilient carpet. Car I can never, carapace, <laughs> I can never say that word, <laughs> extremely aggressive. Insect's massive mouth enables it to tunnel through solid rock at high speeds. Above ground, beetles can cover short distances rapidly. They attack anything that moves near their lair. So Samus, for example. Um, they come in two sizes, as far as I know. The small size and the big size. We just saw a big size there, but I kind of had to shoot it to death. <laughs> Here we have another new creature. Uh, the... Sack? Yes. Chemical reactions within sack produces violent ex explosion when agitated. Because of its irresistible doors, <laughs> door, <laughs> odor and sweet nectar, the sap sack was nearly eaten out of existence. The evolution of an explosive chemical sack saved it. Now only braver and genius creatures dare to devour it. And watch what happens when we shoot it. <laughs> it blows up. That description always makes me think of a, uh, like something for some superhero movie here. I don't know. Just sounds like a cool origin story. Last cap. Volatile, volatile chemicals within this weed's toxic fungal cap may explode if agitated. The poisonous flesh of the blast cap helps keep it from being eaten. It also detonates its fungal cap when it senses even slight contact. Uh, I guess I'll show that off. There. <laughs> That's good enough. Okay. 
Um, there are a lot of new enemies that we get. Of course there are. I mean, you know, we just started. That is not an enemy. <laughs> um, stone creeper. Species. Ground vines. Leech. Nutri... From moisture that... Huh. That's not important. It's too dark to see, but... This is why I didn't want... I explained it in, um... Billy Hatcher. I didn't want to, uh... Record this with my camera because of all the dark crevices and stuff. I guess that doesn't really matter now. <laughs> but... Okay, I'd want to scan that. Alright. Large energy. Replenishes 20 units of energy. So, that's the best... <sighs> Dang it, I forgot. I don't have my charge beam to pull things in. Uh, alright, it doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, that's the best, uh, of the health. <coughs> Ooh, that was random. Zoomer. Anchors itself to walls and other surfaces. Avoid contact with spikes. A basic nerve center located directly above the zoomer's mandibles detect mo detects nutrients. Sharp spines protect it from casual predators, but the lack of a reinforced carapace makes the zoomer vulnerable to any indirect attacks. Okay. Um, I believe zoomers... If you looked closely enough in the, uh, I'm probably, I probably got it on film. <laughs> film. Um, alright, uh, it, there was a zoomer held captive in the space pirate frigate. Or frigid, whatever you want to call it. Gosh dang it. Actually, you know what? Let's see what's in this room. Because less platforming is better. <laughs> um, this isn't... Oh, this is the way I'm supposed to go. Dang it. I... First, I want to go somewhere that I don't want to go. If my lag can stop. <laughs> if my laggy lag can stop lagging. Lag is bad. Jeez. Alright. Let's jump. Let's jump. There's really not that much to do right now because we lost all of our items. There's no way to avoid that. That's a uh, scripted event. Yeah, scripted. That's the word I want. Uh, I don't think we can defeat these things yet. Gamer. Wall-crawling mollusk with retractable spikes. The gamer is an evolutionary dis offshoot of the zoomer family. When threatened, it extends lethal spikes and retracts its head deep into its armored carapace. I don't like that word, carapace. It just bugs me for some reason. <laughs> bugs. And they're kind of bugs. Because beetle. And shoot! <laughs> Alright, fine. Sorry. I'll never pun again. It's a lie. <sighs> Gosh dang it. I make one bad pun. Well, that's redundant. And the lag just kicks it up a notch. Bam. Alright. <sighs> Still, I can't get over how the um, footage, <laughs> footage is looking now. Because just... Oh no! Okay, wait. There we go. There we go. You die. Uh, okay. Let's see what's in here. Here we have two new enemies. Sort of. Tar Tangleweed. Um, planet life. Planet. Plant life with basic sentience. Retracts into ground if threatened. Tangleweeds are only dangerous to small organisms. They are covered in tiny barbs designed to trap potential metals. Er, meals. <laughs> That's bad, because we are metal. Uh, tangleweeds lack the strength to do anything more than hunt hinder larger life forms. And I don't know what just happened. Oh, right. You. You. <laughs> As there's a blast. Bloodflower, able to eject toxic spores. Toxins are poisonous even to the bloodflower itself. Three mouth mo modules protrude from the stalk beneath the flower, each with a rudimentary brain cluster and the ability to spew toxic fumes at anything within a five meter radius. The spores ejected from the stigma at the center of the flower are sufficient to kill this creature if they explode in its vicinity. 
there is a door across the way over there. And before I die, I'm going to leave. We cannot go to that door yet, so... so yeah, we just kind of have to forget about it. I just wanted to show off those uh, two different uh, life forms because we are not going to be getting to that room anytime soon as far as far as I can remember I'm pretty sure it's like a long way a long time till we get to that part so uh, whenever we find a new save point probably I'll stop. Uh, so these elevators, there are a lot around Talon IV. Um, they basically just, I don't want to say warp, but warp you to the new, uh, to the next area. So now we're in the Chozo, Chozo Ruins. If you take too long to do something, uh, your, uh, scanner or computer will tell you to go somewhere. So we have to go to this hive totem. totem. All of these rooms have a different uh, name to it, so I'm not going to be going over those. But, yeah, it's just good to know. Uh, here we have that, which I want to get first. Chozo lore. Chozo script translated. The history of the Chozo stretches back into ancient times. So far into the fog of the past that we know not where our ancestors came from. One thing is clear, however. The Chozo who colonized Talon IV made a conscious choice to. Jeez, I don't know this word. Uh, I had it as a vocab word. S Q, S Q. I don't know. S Q. <laughs> a civilization of advanced technology. We Chozo chose to Chozo chose to live in harmony with nature, guided by the providence of the universe. We believe we will spend peaceful days here and plan to leave our word, our words from time to time. So, Chozo lore is another thing that we have to look out for. Um, it's in the logbook, like, right above or under creatures, I don't know, somewhere. Uh, we could check that out, but I'm not going to. <laughs> not yet. And just like the Zelda temples, we get a big uh, look at uh, overview of the. Uh, okay, that's pretty loud. Of the a big overview of the land, or level, or room, or dungeon, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, okay, they're gone. Well, sort of. I'm just gonna ignore you guys. Uh, all right, up there. Not what I was going for, but okay. War Wasp Hive. Ugh. Primary War Wasp dwelling. Only vulnerable to heavy weaponry. War Wasps build their homes over existing crevices using whatever materials are close at hand. They carry building fragments back to the construction site with their four legs and give them into place uh, with adhesives secreted from their abdomens. Pretty. Alright, this is what I was going for. If I'd stop getting attacked. This object rests at the top of a very smooth and kind soap. Well, we'll find out what that is whenever, at some point. It's glowing, so you know it's important. Same with that. This ledge, the ledge this object rests on cannot be reached from this room. As we could probably tell. Actually, with the grapple beam, if, if it wasn't for those specific instances when we have to use them, then, yeah, we, we could, probably. Uh, okay. Scarab. Exploding parasites that can embed their bodies in solid rock. Scarabs think nothing of sacrificing themselves for the safety of their swarm. When a hostile life form is, is sighted, they block its... Pro progress by embedding themselves in floors and walls. Embedded scarabs violently self-destruct when threatened. So, these guys, they actually hurt you when you step on them. Which I won't do as much, because, you know, yeah. 
I'm not gonna, you know, waste time shooting at all of them, every single one, but, you know, just wanted to show that off. Um, Ion. <laughs> Immobile organisms entirely composed of ocular tissue. Capable of launching sustained energy beams when active. The Ion is sensitive to light and will close shut if a bright flash ignites nearby. Hmm. So, right now, we can't really do anything with these guys. We have to just shoot at them to stun them. Uh, or close their eyes, basically. Or, you know, you can just not care and just go fast. <laughs> That's what I usually do, because it takes too long to, um, take care of them. Now, there is a new enemy in this room, which is not that guy. Oh, there's also Chozo Lore. I did not know this was here. Chozo script translated. Many long years have passed since we Chozo first took root in this land. The passage of time has always been a source of fascination to us. It is the belief of many Chozo sages that the truth of the universe hide within the tumbling currents of time's flow. Even as we search for answers there, however, we find illumination in other unexpected places. We know not how the ability has come to us, but recently many Chozo have begun to sense things beyond the realm of ordinary perception. Strange sights and uh, uh, <laughs> inexplicable sensations flood our minds, filling us with visions. We take this growing ability to be a sign of our burg burgeoning, I don't know, uh, harmonization with the infinite. Perhaps, finally, the universe's secrets are becoming known to us. So, these Chozo, we don't know much about them. But they seem to be the inhabitants, former inhabitants, of this planet, which now seems to be lifeless, as far as we can tell. So, well, aside from the life that goes on here, it's lifeless. Alright, these are the new guys I was talking about. War Wasp. These jerks are pretty annoying. Airborne insect equipped with a venomous stinger capable of shearing steel. The War Wasp rarely strays far from its hive unless it is pursuing an immediate threat, like us. It attacks with no regard for its own survival, dive bombing its enemy with stinger extended. Fast working toxins from the stinger can incapacitate most small organisms. We can do nothing with the hives yet. <laughs> Foreshadowing. Um, but we can kill the war wasps. They'll just keep respawning, so I don't see the... Why is there a ledge? <laughs> Point. But with these guys in our logbook, and just stalking us outside of the door, we'll end off here. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Um, another thing I want to mention real quick, I'm I'm not too sure. It's been a long time. But the save stations heal you, I believe. So, yeah. Um, there's that. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, join me next time for... Like, comment, subscribe, etc. All that. Uh, and join me next time for part three, where we continue to head towards the... What was it? The, uh... Hive Totem. Yeah, that. <laughs> so, see you then. Uh, where's the stop button? Oh, there it is. Now it's